majority of Canadian professors don't reply to emails because it lacks structures and it lacks logic. We have the way of sending emails. You need to be strategic and be smart because you're not the only one who want to come to Canada to study. You're not the only one who want to do the master's. You're not the only one who want to come and do the, the PhD you want to come and do. So don't just sit in Ghana, don't just sit in Nigeria that, oh, I want to send emails and this supervisor because it comes with what? Paying the price. And the paying the price simply means that depending your skills and knowledge to understand what the actual the people need. Because maybe your email can contain a lot of information, but it is not relevant. You, you can say a lot in your email, but it is irrelevant because you're not able to touch the core of what the professors need or what the supervisor need because some people are in us they want to come to canada to study so we have scholarship that come with the hall a hall or a hostel in the school can give you scholarship we have a scholarship that comes with what academic credentials academic potency academic performance some people are brilliant their results are a, 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 a. they have first class so these people Yeah, good evening, good evening, good evening, good afternoon. I don't know where you're watching me from. Let me know where you're watching me from. My name is Peter Baiwa. I love you. And if today is the first time watching me, I am a person who is um, interested in what? Emancipating and liberating the mindset of people, empowering the youth, giving them the hope and aspiration that irrespective of their situation, they can still become relevant. I give knowledge about schools, scholarships, sometimes visa applications i'm not agent i'm not immigration officer i'm not educational consult i just share my knowledge and my common sense with my people in africa i am passionate about development i'm passionate about policies that can change and bring hope to people i am deep and also avail myself as an instrument or as a wheel so that i can able to bring a significant change to my people my followers those people who believe in my ideas my perspective and wisdom that they will honor and also they be also will be honored so my basically i don't really do certain things what i do is that i give vital information to people that can transform their life transform their mindset empower them and also give them the requisite knowledge and information that can help them to navigate through the vicissitude of life to bring an impact and also give to the society i'm not here for popularity i'm not here for fame i am here to impact those people who will listen to me will be liberated and the wisdom and the knowledge the, the lord has given to me i also share to people so that people can also like and also empowered i want to see you develop i want to see you going far um we are not here just to be on social media platforms social media platform is one of the powerful tools people have been using but i'm here just to impact i'm not here for competition i'm not here for anybody i am here just to um you know give vital information to my people back home and to africa that irrespective of the situation you find yourself you can still be liberated it is never too late that is why this channel has come that is why my channel has come this channel is to see your development to see your growth it to see you going through life, the stages of life, the seasons of life, mental transformation. That, that means I don't the day you can also become powerful and significant. Don't be a common person. Don't just be a normal person. When people mention your name, they should attach something significant to your name. You need to be significant. You need to be important in your family, in your relationship, in your community, in your country, in your continent, and in the whole world. You are powerful. You can do it. I can do it. Let's all come together as one people. Here is no competition. Here is not fight. Here is not any... I respect everybody irrespective of where you are coming from. I am from a poor background. Those people who know me know that Peter, I was raised through the hardship. I was raised through certain things that can... You know, there are certain people who cannot stand the trials and the seasons of life I passed through. Who can feel worse? You write exams and you feel worse. Some people have given up. 
but upon everything i have able to see through hard scholarship to university hard scholarship to come and do my masters that means there is god there is hope for everyone it is time for us to make a significant change let my life let my testimony be something that can re-engineer your mindset to push through so that at the end of the day you can become significant time is going time is going nobody is waiting for you it is time people are talking about admission people are talking about funding people are talking about a lot of things why is it that i'm not able to get admission why is it that i'm not able to get scholarship i have good i have good class i have good grades i graduated with first class second class i have bc wc wc results that is good but yes still i'm not able to get full scholarship or funding what is the problem i've been applying i have my transcript i have everything why is it that i'm not able to get scholarship or i'm not able to get funding today i am going to deep into it deep cognitive analysis so that at the end of the day you can learn something and i'm here to share my knowledge with you my name is peter Bewa. i love you all so now admission i've seen that some people normally people share schools for other people to apply now before you apply to school you need to make your research there are thousands of schools now today i'm going to talk about canadian schools american schools i don't for me i don't really like i don't want uk because um for uk i don't what i know is what i'm coming to say those people are interested of coming to canada and us before i will start let me talk about some of the admission things that will can give you a leverage so that you can able to prepare enough one us have a lot of scholarship us in terms of scholarship us is one of the country that have scholarships and one thing is that in us about let me see 10 percent of the university will tell you to find a supervisor but in canada most of the schools will tell you to find a supervisor before you apply to the school so they want to know the number of students that will be coming to the research center that will be coming for the grant so sometimes lecturers have money so they have grant they have funding so now they want students to be in their class for them to do research so the the, the professor will say that okay this year i'm going to take only 40 students only 30 students only 20 students in my class so you need to apply you send email to the supervisor you talk about i've been telling people that if you are sending emails to schools if you're in africa if you're in ghana nigeria zimbabwe uganda you want to send email to professors for them to supervise your work the main focus should be on research your research skills and when you are sending the email let the person know that you know the research skills what research skills and knowledge do you have it's not just sending them that i have research skills tell them go deeper give them be concise and go deep to the research you have able to do now link it to your past experience when you are sending email for supervisor to supervise your work or to give you a grant or to apply to the school now go back to maybe your undergrad or when you're doing your master the research you did go to the professor's specialization because most of the professors and the here we call them the faculty members the lecturers they have their own particular way of their research their interest specialization like uh, maybe the thing they are interested in working in some people are working in animals some are working in plants some are working in human beings nursing political science public public policy all this that they have a specialization so for example maybe you're interested of coming to study criminology and crime justice we have divisions we have subsets so some people will look at uh, other people beating their wife crime some will look at sexual assault some will look at drugs crimes and drugs you know they have specialization so you need to identify the lecturer who want to supervise your work and when you are sending the email let the supervisor know that you know what you you are you are trying to do it's not just you sending the email that i am in ghana i want to come to your class i have research in this this that this. no don't just say that be concise especially those people interested in canada you know majority of canadian professors don't reply to emails because it lacks structures and it lacks logic we have the way of sending emails you need to be strategic and be smart
because you are not the only one who want to come to Canada to study. You are not the only one who want to do the masters. You are not the only one who want to come and do the the PhD. You want to come and do. So don't just sit in Ghana. Don't just sit in Nigeria. That oh, I want to send emails and this supervisor because it comes with what paying the price. And the paying the price simply means that depending your skills and knowledge to understand what the actual the people need because maybe your email can contain a lot of information but it is not relevant you, you can say a lot in your email but it is irrelevant because you're not able to touch the core of what the professors need or what the supervisor need because some people are in us they want to come to canada to study some people are in china some people are in russia some people are in uganda africa asia countries all these people want to come and they are going to select only 20 students so what will make you stand out? You need to go further. Deep inside, go further. Go outside your comfort zone. Don't just be a normal student. Let the professor know that upon everything, because you're talking about you have research. Everybody has research. What will make the professor select you? That's the most important thing. And this is where you are able to dip inside to the core of the things, the structures, the, the variables that the professor need. That is what people lack. There's some people are saying that I'm not getting admission, I'm not getting supervisor. It's because of the clarity and how you structure your things, the communication skills and the interpersonal relationships. You're not able to establish this. You, you are begging professors to give you funding. It doesn't work like that. So majority of Canadian schools will tell you to look for a supervisor before you apply, especially those people who are interested in research-based courses, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, animal husbandry, plant studies those people science science courses engineering courses you need to majority of the schools will tell you that you need to seek so sometimes even social sciences humanities sociology psychology social work you need to get supervisor some of the schools so what you need to do is that understand the, some of the articles understand some of the publications the specialization the interest of the professor you want to send the email to go to the website look take two of his publication so maybe the the professor has worked on maybe if maybe the professor is maybe a political science lecturer and he has talked about development maybe his specialization is in development which kind of development is he talking about is it social development is it economic development is it political development then you look at one specialization of what you want and let the professor know that you have able to what even done this research so you know much about the research they are talking about so the professor will know that oh okay this guy is really talking about a particular field of my my specialization sometimes most of the uh, scholarships or most of the funding will come like uh, we need people to work in maybe a plant and a plant uh, studies so i need only two people so some of the professors will look at, okay, these are the qualifications and these are the interests or what are some of the things I want to do. That one, it is okay because when you go to the school website and the professor is, especially those people, I've been telling people that use your LinkedIn page. Go, create LinkedIn page. Senior, sister, please create LinkedIn page. A lot of scholarship opportunities, faculty members, lecturers, they share them. It, I'm looking for people to come and study. Is because of lack of inadequate or lack of preparation. You don't want to go far in life. You don't want to go deeper. You want people to spoon feed you. You want everybody, every day you want people to tell you what to do. You cannot get the wisdom and the knowledge. Every day you are looking for people to do certain things for you. Everybody is busy. Everybody is busy. Everybody is busy. So what I'm saying is that the professor will let you know that, oh, okay, this is my, the, 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 maybe the research I'm coming to do. Do you have interest in that? Send an email. Be concise. Be, be, go straight to the point. I have done this research. I joined this research to embark on this. Especially those people in Ghana, you have done apart from the research skills you have done you are able to join government organizations right you're able to join other government organization institution to con conduct data collection 
being it qualitative or quantitative, being survey or questionnaire, let the professor know that even you're a student, but you have able to go extra mile into social community impact because research should touch lives. Research should give solution to problems. The foundation of research is that we need to give solution to the society. So we do research to impact in society. So apart from you being the student, you are letting the professor to know that, yes, of course, I was a student. I did research in this. I did research in um, uh, macroeconomics. I did research in uh, political science, uh, politics. I did research in public administration. I did research in crime. I did research in psychology. This, 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 this. That is okay. Apart from that, I was able to also what, go deep, extra mile, of helping government institutions to even conduct some of the research, be it qualitative or quantitative, primary data or secondary data. Let them know that you know, mention some of the terminologies, mention certain things, some of the research, proportional, you know, quantitative, qualitative, open minded, close minded questions, close ended questions, open uh, questions, as, you know, in the paragraph, let, let the professor know that you know what you're doing. And sometimes, maybe those people who are also working in the laboratory, you, you are dealing with some of the accoutrements that we use to conduct research. You can mention some of the tools, you know how to use it. After that, you can also mention some of the app, the application we use to analyze data. You know how to use SPSS. Tell the professor. Let him know that you know all these apps. Is it our, our app? I can use this app to analyze data. I know how to analyze qualitative, quantitative interviews, survey, questionnaires, you know, ask questions. Let the professor know that, oh, okay, this is what I really know how to do it. Because don't sit in Ghana that, oh, I want to come to Canada, I want to come to US, so it is quite cheap for you to get. No, 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 no. You need to go extra mile because you're not the only one. Sometimes an application can come, 3,000 applications, and they are going to select only 20 students. So you need to be competitive. <laughs> you need to be competitive. You need to go extra mile. There should be a reason why they should select you. So don't just be a normal applicant. Don't just apply to the school. When you see free waiver, you apply to the schools. I will come to the funding aspect. But this is the general information I'm giving to you. That when you want to apply to school, and maybe they are demanding you for you to get a supervisor this is some of the ways you can take so that you can able to get the supervisor attention because sometimes and one thing is that learn how to send email on time you are in ghana and you want to send emails to us or canada make sure that the time you are sending the email should meet the professor on the office hours so for example if you are sending email on sunday no professor is working on Sunday. And probability for your email to not to read is quite very high. Because Monday, a lot of people are also sending emails. What if they are sending the emails and the professor selected only the top, the, those people who were able to, because he want, he want to read all the emails and select maybe best 20 students to do the interview. You sent it on Friday or Saturday evening. Meanwhile, Sunday, some people are also sending. Monday, some people are sending. So probability that what if those people who send it maybe on Monday, he selected them. He read, he read all the emails and say, oh, okay, these people are competent. So those people should not, I, I, I'm not going to take that. How are you going to do it? So know the time schedule of sending emails. Don't just wake up and you're sending emails. So make sure that majority of the professors will come to office 9 a.m. So if you're in Ghana, make the time adjustment. Ghana and Canada. What time will I send the email? So that immediately the professor will open the, 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 his or her laptop. My email is the first one. I don't know if you're making sense. If you're learning something. This is what I think. I'm not saying if you will, if you want to send it Friday evening, that everybody's going to weekend. It is your own cup of tea. But for me, I am giving you extra knowledge that this is what I think that if you do it, it can help you. So don't just send emails. Be strategic and be smart.
sometimes applying to schools for admission applying to school for admission is not intelligent it is about a person who is smart that is why some people will get second class lower they will come to abroad you'll be first class student you are still home it's because they are smart so smart simply means that touching and knowing when and how to do certain things so write it down don't just send emails make sure that your email immediately the professor will open the email yours will be among the 10 or the 5 be strategic because 9 a.m they will come to office immediately they open their email your email is the first he just read it uh, then he said okay i will select this person so those people who have uh, sent it friday evening and saturday evening probability for him not to read is very high should so be, be strategic now the funding aspect when we share free waiver on the page when we share certain free waiver on the page don't just apply to schools don't just apply to schools some people are applying 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 you can apply to 80 schools if you are not smart and intelligent if you are not strategic and smart enough it will be waste of time and waste of energy and waste of resources and make sure that getting recommendation in africa to apply to come and do masters and phd in the united states or canada is very very tough because most of our professors most of our lecturers in africa they don't want to get a recommendation letters is very very difficult so if you're making schools make sure that the school you are applying you have make adequate preparation so that when you when the professor send a recommendation letter to another school and maybe you are going for another recommendation he will not get angry because some of the professors if they give you recommendation one the second one they are not going to give it to you because they, they will tell you they don't have time in africa most of the lecturers they don't want to give recommendation to people so since you want to apply to 10 schools sit down and make sure analyze it and maybe do two application or three application that you think you have read about their procedure institutional arrangement you have read about the requirement you know the funding that you are going to get scholarships you have read it and you under really understand it before you apply to the school because if you go and apply to more and more schools 10 schools and maybe your lecturer say he's not going to give you a recommendation the application fee is is zero and you can't come and do masters without application uh, recommendation letters some of the schools will tell you that you now send recommendation letter but most of the schools especially us and canada they will not allow you to send a recommendation to them they will let maybe your faculty to send or your lecturer to send the recommendation letter so because in africa it is not easy to get recommendation <laughs> so be strategic and some people also apply to apply to the school without recommendation letter if you don't add recommendation letter that means you're not going to get admission that is why most of the people they are not getting admission some people think they are smart you just submit the application without recommendation oh boy you're not going to get so put it down that this year four is coming four is coming three months for us to start school application look for the priority deadline the last time i told you that getting scholarship getting scholarship is about how smart you are it is not about how your grade is it's not about how brilliant you are it is about how smart the smartness simply means that you know how when and how to do it so we call something priority deadline or funding deadline what if you completed school years ago and working? I don't understand. So, sometimes some of the schools will tell you that the recommendation letter, you need to get maybe a professional recommendation letter. That means maybe if you are working in an organization, they can give you a recommendation. Some of the schools, they will tell you academic and professional recommendation. Some of the schools will also tell you bring only academics. That means only your lectures. Some of the schools will tell you that bring... Um, professional and academics that one you can do the work you are you can let your manager or maybe you are working the company to do the recommendation for you and also the academic you get maybe one or two now let me talk about this in terms of 
people saying that getting scholarship scholarship comes when you're able to apply to the time that will meet the scholarship especially us and canada go to the website before you apply to the school check the priority deadline go to the department sometimes the department has priority deadline they will tell you those people who are able to apply from september to december 1st will be considered for funding they will tell you but the application deadline will be in march for me for instance i was able to apply to the school before the application deadline so i had the scholarship it's not because i am more intelligent than other people it's because i was smart and i met the criteria because i look at the priority deadline and make sure that i was able to apply to the funding and the priority deadline we have two deadlines in application we have the funding or the priority deadline and we have the application deadline let's you know we have two types of deadlines in application we have the priority deadline or the funding deadline and the application deadline application deadline does not mean that you're going to get a scholarship but priority deadline simply means that if you are able to apply to that time fall is coming september is coming they are coming to open another admission sit down get two schools do your application do your research very well know that i am going to apply to the de the priority deadline priority deadline or the funding deadline you think that some people who are getting scholarship to come here they are more important or they are more smart than you or they are more intelligent than you no it's because they are smart because some people will not apply in january they will not apply in february so the february that people are waiting for them to apply they will not because some of the schools will tell you that those people who are able to apply from september to november 31st will be considered for funding meanwhile you are applying the 28th december who is going to give you the funding the admission will come but you will be struggle to pay your school fees now as to how your currency and the money monetary fund you are in ghana now they are telling you to come and don't submit application without the recommendation letters don't be smart they will not give you admission very important please put this because some people submit admission and they are waiting for the admission but it will not come because they did not put their reference or their recommendation letter free waiver free waiver you can get the free waiver but you need to be strategic you need to apply wisdom and smartness so i'm telling you that we have two types of applic application deadline we have the funding deadline and we have the application deadline some people look at the application deadline but they don't look at the priority or the funding deadline that is why you are not getting scholarship this year be smart go to the department website look at the priority deadline don't check the application deadline look for priority deadline or the funding deadline and make sure that you have applied before they will tell you so for example the priority deadline maybe if they open the uh, admission on january uh, september 15th september 15th they have opened the, the department will tell you that those people who are able to apply after or before november 31st you are going to be considered for funding that is the priority deadline meanwhile the application deadline is in march 21st <laughs> So me, I had scholarship. I was able to apply in the priority deadline. I didn't apply in the application deadline. Be smart. Different between two deadlines. So maybe you go to the school website. You check that oh, application deadline is in March 21st. So look at the what is the priority deadline or the funding deadline. So that you can able to. So if you need scholarship or funding, be strategic and be smart. Be intelligent enough do your research nobody is going to spin uh, spoon feed you you are not a kid you're a graduate you can read and understand you need guidance and this is the video we are doing to educate you i'm not taking anything from you this is can you get more than one school scholarship from a school yes you can get more scholarship from a school don't just apply to school without funding you're in ghana if they tell you to come and pay fifty thousand dollars you don't have money you now you know that you don't have money you can't you don't have money now if they ask you to bring twenty thousand dollars you don't have money twenty 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 thousand dollars is like two hundred thousand ghana cities where are you going to get two billion where are you going to get 
this money from? No. So make sure that the school you are applying, they have internal funding. Listen, so scholarship comes with different. We have scholarship that the government will give it to you. We have scholarship that the school will give it to you. We have the scholarship that the department will give it to you. We have the scholarship that the whole. So for example, you are in Ghana, you are in Legon, you are in Commonwealth, uh, um, or Vanda Hall, you are in KNWC, you are in um, uh, Katanga, or you are in Unity Hall, Kunti, or Re Republic Hall. We have scholarship that the whole can give it to you. I have a friend who is in UK. He is in Cambridge University. One of the whole, is it Trinity Hall? They gave him full scholarship, £41,000. You see, a whole in the school gave him the scholarship. So we have scholarship that come with the hall. A hall or a hostel in the school can give you scholarship. We have a scholarship that comes with what? Academic credentials, academic potency, academic performance. Some people are brilliant. Their results are A, 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 A. They have first class. So these people, they have scholarship that they are going to give it to you. And we also have scholarship that the government will give it to you. And sometimes when the government wants to give it to you, they, they just want you to write some of the letters. So what are your career goals? What are your professional ambition? How do you see yourself in the next 20 years? What is your educational plan? What was it? Identify one of the problems in your society and try to, you know, establish or try to project some of the solution that can help to mitigate some of the uh, problems in your society. So these are some of the questions or some of the essays you can, be, you can write. We also have scholarship that come with organizations. NGOs can also give you scholarship. So maybe you're a first class, you're a second class lower, you're a second class upper, you don't have any funding. Look for other internal and other extra scholarship. I hope you get it. So maybe you don't meet the requirement they want. But some of the, some of, we have a lot of scholarship opportunities outside UK, Germany, Canada. We have this, uh, ah, NGOs. It is NGOs, organization, corporate, corporate institutions economic institution, the gatekeepers, industries, these, these buoyant companies that are giving scholarship to international students. And when it comes, sometimes they will ask you your average or your class. Some of the organization will tell you that what are your future career goals? How do you see yourself in the next 10 years? What are your professional career? How can you help to impact in your society? Identify one problem in your society and try to what, establish some of the solutions that will help to mitigate these problems. A lot of people need this information so that they can also apply and get scholarship. Some people are struggling. It's because of some technologies. They want to get some small knowledge. Then you are looking for scholarship. I'm telling you that some of the scholarship come with the department. Some of the scholarship come with alumina. So some people like maybe... A person who has gone to maybe Cambridge University, University of Oxford, University of Alabama, University of South Carolina, Miami, Ohio University. These professors, they have gotten a lot of money. So they will tell that we are going to give brilliant what? Or brilliant student in Africa. Ten students. So these are some of the... So some people are applying to school, but they don't know that these are some of the scholarships in the department. They don't know because they don't do research. You think that those people who are coming abroad or those people who are coming here to school, you think that the scholarship, who gave it to them? Some are given to them by the department. Some are given to them by the graduate studies. Some are given to them by what? The vice chancellor scholarship. Some are given by alumina. Some are given by the hall. Some are given by the librarian. Those employ, uh, employment opportunities in the campus, on campus. I was applying to some of the schools and one of the school told me that some of the scholarship came and it was like, do you want to become, a, a, is it a LGBTQ, that gay and lesbian coordinator? So they have some of the coordinators, some of the job openings that they can give you scholarship. You can work with the dean of office. You can work in the administration of, you know, the human resource of the, of the, of the school. You know, I applied to school at Ball State University when I was in Ghana. Ball State University. They gave me graduate assistantship and it was a contract. And this contract comes with a lot of money because I am going to work with the dean of students. Right? So I was able to go extra mile. So this one, this scholarship, it is not the department who gave it to me. It is not the school. Uh, it is not the, the vice chancellor. Who it. it is the employment in the faculty of 
the school, the dean, the dean of student of the school that gave me the, that scholarship, and it, it was graduate teaching assistant. They are going to waive your school fees and they are going to give you allowances. The stipend. So you need to be smart. I was able to look through other, you know, sometimes when you are applying to the school, don't just look at the funding in the school, on the in the department. Go extra mile. Look at the international scholarships. Look at the country you are going. You are coming to Canada. Canada as general, do they have scholarship for international students? It is not about the school. Are you talking about extra you know, you're going extra mile to understand how to get a scholarship or how to get a funding. So don't just apply to the school and say, oh, they don't have scholarship. Look for other scholarships. You're coming to U.S. They have a lot of U.S. scholarships. You now, you don't want to search. You have decided that you want people to search for you. Nobody will do that. Everybody is busy. Obey a busy. Obey and shut down for home. I've been telling people that people don't really care about you whether you succeed or you fail nobody cares <laughs> everybody is busy this is the hard truth i'm telling you nobody really cares the last time i was making an analogy that today you wake up who has called you that Charlie? today have you eaten since morning you are watching me right now today who has called you that chale sister bro today have you eaten have your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister called you that have you eaten today that means that People can forget you. <laughs> that means that people can forget you. Today, since I woke up, my father has not called me. Because they think that I've eaten. Because in life, there are certain stages when you reach, you are capable of establishing your, your own decisions. So today, nobody has called me that, Peter, have you eaten? That means people can forget you. So no pe nobody really care about your development. They are talking about, they are talking about, you know, they are talking about maybe their own life. So it is about time you need to move away from your comfort zone. So looking for scholarship comes with different, different dynamics. I know a friend who came to UK. A foundation gave her a full scholarship. You see, foundation scholarship. This is not about talking about the school. It is foundation that gave her full scholarship. So when you apply to when you apply to schools and you need scholarship or you need funding, don't just wait. If the department does not have funding, does the faculty have funding? They don't have. Does the international student have funding? Do they have alumina funding? They don't have internal funding. Some people don't know. When you are applying to school, check that they have bursaries. Bursaries in the in the department, research assistant. When I came here, the school I had, I was able to also have another job. The school I am in, I'm also a research assistant in different department. That is also it will give me money. I hope you get it. So don't just apply to, don't just don't just don't just apply to uh, maybe you don't have this because you need to check internal funding. Every year, would the department give me funding, internal funding, even if I'm in Ghana and I'm, even if I'm in Africa and I'm paying my school fees, if I come to the school, how am I going to fund myself? And one thing is that some people also don't make sure they have the cognitive or they have the strategic, you know, plan. Everybody is running from the country, so they too, they want to run without adequate preparation. <laughs> Everybody is running. Everybody is going to school. So me now, so I'm going. So they will go to the country and they will regret. Some people will go to certain countries and they will regret. So make sure that you are the driver of your life. You are the one who is driving your own life. You are the driver of your career. You are the driver of your future. You are the driver of your children. You are the driver of your generation. You are the driver of your husband your wife, your generation, your children, your family, they are depending on you. Certain decisions might come from you. You need to think. Don't let other people think for you. You become irrelevant. Be bold enough. Shake that fear. Wake up. Take your time. Sit down. Read. Ask questions. People will not mind you. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Don't wait. 
Sometimes you become weak. Sometimes it becomes difficult. I know. Sometimes you don't feel like doing it. Time is going. It is time for you to liberate yourself. Sometimes your mind, your own mind can put you in prison. <laughs> Some people are watching me. Their own mind. Because your mind is also... Your mind can liberate you. And your mind can put you into bondage. <laughs> your own mind. So it is about how you understand things you want to do. How you want to see your life. How you want to establish. In the next 10 years. Where will I be in the next 20 years? What will be my life? Now you are watching me. You are 30 years. You are 25 years. I have 20 years to wait. Time is going. 45 years. What will be my, my situation? So the decision I'm doing today, what I am doing today, how is it going to help me when I become old? It is time. So don't just apply to schools. Make sure they have funding. Go to the fund and ask questions, send emails, look for schools, Canada, a lot of schools, US, a lot of schools. Don't just wait and don't just put your focus on one school. That means I want to go to Oxford, I want to go to Cambridge, I want to go to University of Toronto, I want to go to Harvard University, Yale University. You will sit there for 30 years. <laughs> you sit there, you have the dream. Me, I wish I was in Harvard University. I wish I was in Yale's university. Those people over there, they are not special more than me. Me too, I can be there. <laughs> Some people don't believe that they can also be significant too. Me, I can see where you are. You lie bad. <laughs> me, president, I can be president. <laughs> Tell yourself. They are not special. They were born by human beings. They have blood. You too have blood. They have yes. You have yes. They have head. You have head. The only thing that changes from us is the mindset. That will never be the same. Because you can look alike with some people. But the only thing that can change in our life is our mind. Your mind and my mind is not the same. That's the only thing that will separate you from the... That can separate us from the goat and the sheep. And that is the mindset. Believe in yourself. Some people will come to Canada, US. After that, after you get maybe... Maybe probably you have you have gotten to maybe University of Mississippi. After school, you can apply to Yale's University. Sometimes you need to go to certain places so that you can able to meet certain places. You can't you can't just jump. You need to cut corners. You know, you go here, you go here, you go here. Now I am in North America. After school, in the school I want to go. If I use my my transcript because I've gained you know, knowledge, I have certificate, not in Africa, I have certificate in the same North America, because these Canadian and US people, they taught me, so they, I have their own certificate, I can use it to apply to the schools I want, you see, the year I want, if I want to apply, I will apply, Villanova University I want, I can use to apply, because I am here already, I have their certificate, so sometimes, when you are in Africa and you want to apply to certain schools, please, Look for the local, local, local schools. <laughs> local, local schools. Some of the state, the people don't really want to go to those schools. Don't go to highly competitive. I'm not saying don't try competitive. It's about decision. It is about decision. Go to certain places after that, you cut corners. The problem is that who is teaching you? Who is teaching you? Canadians and Americans, they are teaching you after school. You can use it to go to the yields you want, the Cambridge you want. So then just let people change your mindset and let you put you so down that nothing productive can come from your mind or come, for, come from yourself. Be bold enough. So don't just apply to schools. When they share the schools and those kind of stuff, make sure that you are applying to school that you believe that you meet the requirement. You have done your requisite research. You have asked questions. You have let people to guide you. You you you, you, you know what you are doing. So when you apply, you pray over it. Let God be the answer. Me, you are watching me right now. I'm not bragging. Wherever the Lord wants to take me to, I will never forget where whilst I was at the wilderness. Because it is the God who took me to become to come to this place. And now you are watching me. 
I'm not here to brag. I'm not here to say that I am my own strength. It is not my knowledge. It is not my wisdom. It's from the creator. It is the Lord who can change a person from that poverty and make people to seek. It is God. When God put you, bring you to the lamb light, people will seek for you. <laughs> when the moment you change, not changing, my face is like the same face. Peter, they know, is not Peter talking right now. Because life is about seasons. Seasons of life. There was a time people were not recognizing me. For you to come to Facebook for people, other people, for 90 people or 70 people, 80 people to watch me right now, simply means that I am adding value. Nobody have time to watch me. So the moment you add value to your mindset, you attract men. <laughs> people will come to your light. I'm not saying people should come and watch me. Why are you watching me? You are watching me because you have seen light. You need knowledge. You need wisdom. And every sensible person or reasonable person will come for wisdom. Because wisdom is not food. It's something that you are giving to the mindset that your soul can also get the basic things. You are watching me right now. It's not because I am handsome. People are more handsome than me. You are watching me because of the things you are gaining. Because you will never waste your data on me. You will not waste your credit or your Wi-Fi on me. I must carry something. Of course. So sometimes when you renew, when you become so matured enough, people will seek for you. People will come to your light. So applying to schools, you need to be smart. Make sure that the department you are applying the school to, they have scholarship. Don't just apply. Don't just apply to the school. Make sure they have scholarship. Make sure they have funding. Some people have gotten admission now. They can't pay their school fees. So what is the essence of that? They are telling you to come and bring, uh, to come and pay twenty five thousand dollars. Who is going to pay you that twenty five? So it is waste of time, <laughs> waste of money. Now, if you go to the lecturer who did the recommendation letter for you, he's not going to apply because you every year they do recommendation for you. So it is waste of time. They will see you that you are a threat to them. Some of the lecturers in Africa, they will see that you are a threat to them. They will not do recommendation for you because you now you are not strategic and you are not applying certain things. And you think that you know. Meanwhile, you don't know anything. Me, the reason why sometimes I, I gain wisdom and knowledge from people is that me, I respect everybody. Even if I know when I meet you, I respect you so that I will get the wisdom. Some people think that they know. A guy who was following me think that he know everything. He sent me his statement of purpose. That is why Canadian visa... Maybe one, one time I'll come and talk about Canada visa. When you're applying for visa, make sure that you make yourself the visa officer. Let's you know. If you're watching me right now and you're applying for your student visa to come to Canada, make sure you make yourself the visa officer. Mark your letter of explanation. Mark your document. So if now we send you this document, will you give it to somebody if you are the visa officer? Ask yourself. That is why me, I, I do. Some people who have been telling me, no, Peter, help me review. I made myself like a visa officer and I'll mark. Because sometimes they don't, somebody just sent me a letter of explanation for visa. And the way, when I, when I read it, I was like, so this is what he want to send you to embassy for. <laughs> oh, God. Some English B. Yesterday I was told him and I didn't, I didn't say that bad English, you know. Present tense, past participle. Yesterday would have like, ah, just, I don't understand. <laughs> Some people, eh, it's not because they are not able to get the visa. It's not because, it's because they lack coherent and logic. They can't communicate. They think they know, but they don't know. Instead of them to learn, they think they know. You too, you don't know. But when you are watching me, I will make your knowledge so down. Because a person who humbles himself to knowledge and wisdom will always seek knowledge. <laughs> a person, even if you are smart and intelligent more than a person, when you meet people, humble yourself and learn from them. You don't know anything in this life until you meet people who knows. 
So even if you know and you meet people, try and understand them. Because you, the moment you make yourself bra 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 bra, me, when I meet Choco Melonier, I'm not going to say that, oh boss, I know more than you. No, 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 no. He had been here in Canada for many years. Getting to uh, 10 years or 10 years. He has a lot of things. I'm not going to make myself like a boss because he has a lot of things. So I need to humble myself. Be guided. Even if I know, keep quiet. Sometimes, even if you know something and you meet great people, destiny changes. Keep quiet. It is a wise and a mature, a matured way to remain silent when you meet great people. Because the moment you talk, you make certain mistakes. So when you are applying to schools, when you are applying to visa, and maybe you come internet and you see certain videos, don't just talk blah 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 blah. You can make any information I'm giving you to you right now. I'm not saying it is the right one. Go and do your research <laughs> and see if what I said is true. That makes you a wise person. That makes you an intelligent and a mature person. Some somebody will go and say, Oh, Peter, this guy, oh, you don't know anything. Without making the diligent and you know resourceful, because sometimes when you change, when you challenge people intellectually, they think that you are you are proud or you are you are pride. The moment you challenge people intellectually, <laughs> they think that you are insulting them. But until you liberate your own mind, you will never seek wisdom and knowledge. So school application and visa applications and those kind of stuff. This is where these videos have been doing this video for people to understand how to start. Now, make sure your CV is very important because your CV is going to sell you. We have a way of drafting a CV for a scholarships. It is not normal CV. Somebody sent me a CV and he said, I'm married. I have three children. All these types on their CV. We have academic CV and we have job or employment CV. Listen, you are in Ghana, you are using that CV to apply for job. It is different from if you want to apply to come to school. Because sometimes the job experience on the CV shouldn't be more than, you know, it shouldn't be some people are saying that I've worked here, I've worked in GRA, I've worked in government of Ghana, they got what I've worked in a teacher, I am this job experience eight. Who cares? What they need is your research, your educational background. <laughs> I'm not saying don't put your work experience in, but the foundation of the CV should focus on the research you're coming to do here. <laughs> it is not about the work, whether you have teach in so what. Talk about your research skills. Talk about your communication skills. Talk about the things, the data collections. Because you are coming here. Let them know the things you know. Tell them the app, the application you can use to analyze data. Don't just put CV. I, I like watching movie. And my hobby. What, what is the hobby on the CV? It is irrelevant. Why should you put reference on your CV? Meanwhile, when you are applying to the school, they will ask you for the reference. And you will type your lecturer or your lecturer's institutional email. So, the reference that you have put on your CV, that means you don't know what you are doing. I don't know if I'm making sense. Those people who understand me will understand what I'm saying. I'm saying that some people's CV is, they put reference. Now, if you're applying to school to come to US and Canada, most of the schools will tell you to provide academic reference. Or academic institutional institutions or something like that, institutional emails. Meanwhile, on the CV, you have put Reverend Dr. Marty. What is Doc, uh, Reverend Dr. Marty doing on the CV? And do you think that they will have time to contact Reverend Dr. Marty email? <coughs> ah, you this you this person. You think you are in Ghana, you think that you are in Nigeria, you think that you are the they will wait for you. You <coughs> You are planning to come to school. You think that they will wait for you. So who... And some people will also put their pastor. They will put their headmaster. Who is going to contact... So do you mean that the graduate committee here will take your lecturer or your your reverend father uh, uh, the phone number to call? Hello. We are from Alabama Graduate Studies Committee. This person, Joseph uh, Marty, 
has contacted us that uh, you are, you want to do maybe a reference for you are you reverend mighty yes please he a good guy recommend him then who has that time <laughs> do you know the kind of application that moves in a day even in ghana you did public administration in ghana you did sociology look at knst student take 10 years people have done sociology they are not getting work to do everybody want to come and do masters 10 years some people have graduated sociology 2010 they are looking for masters some people graduated 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 look at the number of students who are even even sociology as a course they all want to come to that same school look you cast your mind to the class you were when you were in when you are doing your undergrad how many students were in the class only your care university or legon look at the number of universities in only Ghana and the course you're doing, you're doing business administration in Legon. It is not only Legon, you're doing business administration. KNUS is doing, C Asasha University is doing, UCC is doing, all these institutions, big, big institutions, they have a lot of students. They're all doing the same course. <laughs> and the same recommendation, professors are going to give you the recommendation. So what will make you go extra mile? what will make them sell it to you that's the most important thing if you have first class everybody have first class what will make them sell it to you <laughs> you are saying that i am brilliant everybody's brilliant <laughs> I, I was occupied position everybody has occupied position i was a leader everybody was a leader what will make them sell it to you that's the most important thing only ghana look at nigeria one state in nigeria is bigger than ghana Zimbabwe, can, uh, 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 Russia, people want to come. Even in Africa, South Africa, Uganda, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Lesotho, all these people, Sri Lanka, Morocco, all these people want to come here to study. What will make them, what will make you stand out? That's the most important thing. So you need to go extra mile. Go extra mile. Deep inside. Take your time on your CV. Bring your research experience. Let them know that you know research. Talk about the research you have done. Your research skills. What do you know? It's a personal relationship. Communication skills. Talk about cognitive things. Paying attention to details. All this stuff should come to the CV. Being it innovative, analytical, problem-solving skills. Talk about all these stuff. Don't go, don't, uh, go, and, don't go and put uh, I live watching football. It's so what? My, my hobby is uh, uh, reading uh, storybooks. <laughs> Some people are saying that my hobby is uh, watching movie. You, you, you brought this on your CV. What, what, what is it? <laughs> what, 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 what do you want? <laughs> what do you want, sister? Dear partner, open with us. What do you want from this world? That is why I tell people. So on the CV, when you are applying to schools, don't don't. Our advice, at least, it should be two pages. Some people CV are ten pages. Who is going to read that ten pages? You think that they have your time? Make it concise, two pages. Bring your name. If you have a LinkedIn page, bring the link. If you have phone number, bring it. It is not important for you to bring your address. Somebody in US, somebody in Canada doesn't really care. And you stay at Soto, you stay at Labadi, nobody cares. <laughs> your address is not really important. Those people who want to come to Canada, when you're applying for a job, don't put your address. Because sometimes some people think that putting your address, some people can even trace you to come and kill you. <laughs> so it is not important for you to bring your address on the CV top there. Some people will say B A what what uh, seventy three uh, kukumremre. What is this? <laughs> Write your name, your phone number, your email, your social media platform. LinkedIn is one of the professional websites you can bring it. Make it nice, be concise, underline it, make it very neat. Sometimes when when you're using you're using bullet to make the they make sure that it is uniform some people will use dot here they will use tick here they will use asterisk here it is not consistent it is not neat <coughs> some people 
Some people, it's not because you are not brilliant. You. It's because you lack the logic, the coherent of things, of doing things. And that's the most important thing. At this page, a time is coming. It will be one of the powerful pages in the world, not in Africa. Because me, I'm looking at 10 years, 20 years to come. That this page will liberate the young ones. This page will help to emancipate, empower people. So that people can become significant. I'm telling people that this year, something must happen. <laughs> Until you change your mind, we are not stopping. And you mean, who you? I don't care whether you love me or you don't love me. The most important thing is that let's do what must be done. And I want to see you going. You want to also see me going. So that they hate. I don't want you to see me that I'm top. You hate me. You get jealous about me. I don't want you to get jealous about me. You to do yours so that you have your money. I have my money. So that no competition. Oh, car. You have your car. I have my car. That's the main reason why I love talking to people. I don't want a situation whereby one people will go. If one people, if you are not safe until everything around you grow with you, listen to me, you are not safe until everything around you go with you. If only you in the family that you are going for, everybody will put their eye on you. Grow with people. So in the forest, when you go there, it's not only one tree. They are all growing. So there's no hatred. So when a tree is falling down, another tree will be there to provide a standing block. That is why I'm telling people to emancipate other people. Because the hatred is low when everybody is going forward. If only you want to only succeed in life, they will hate you and kill you. <laughs> so let all come together and make ourselves proud. I want to see you and you are happy. You say, hey, Peter. This guy has really talked to me. Oh, that is what I want. Some people will not see me. Maybe you will not meet me till that I can come. But I still love you. I'm what you are watching me in this video. Make sure that it is time for you to liberate yourself. It is time for you to tell yourself that the situation you are finding yourself right now, you don't want. You want to change. And you want to change. And this, the change is here. And the change is from you. Nobody is coming to change you. Me, I'm not here for popularity i'm not here for people to i'm not here for fame i am here to impact i'm just a young guy who believe in the destiny the beacon of determination and consistency that irrespective of your situation you can still become very advanced so the whole school application this is the overview so on your cv bring research experience research skills talk about the the the, the apps application you can use to analyze data Talk about the undergrad, your project, some of the projects you have done. Talk about it. After that, you talk about your work experience. After that, you talk about, so education will come, research will come, uh, employment. You also talk about volunteerism, social organization, the things you have done to help community. Let them know that apart from you being a student, you are able to go extra mile of touching lives. We are planting trees. Add it. You volunteer to teach people in the rural areas. Add it. Let them know that because especially in Canada, they love community impact. Pebibishem, sister. Tai pebibishem. And fam makwa. Some people say that I have not done anything. You are not smart. <laughs> you are not smart. Sometimes you can lie, but you can be smart in lying. <laughs> <laughs> this is common sense oh. this one nobody is, this is not a theory that somebody is going to teach you <laughs> somebody said that I didn't do this I didn't do it so how can I add it you can't add it <laughs> you are not serious <laughs> well, put, put 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 something in and stop that I didn't do it nobody do <laughs> who has done it write something volunteer work write something there and when you come about the skills the volunteer internship you have done add everything to it so that it can make it concise and neat so that it will be nice so when they are looking at your cv they say ah this is the competent student we are looking for the cv must speak and cv is very important the second document you also need is what the second document you will need 
a, a statement of purpose. Some school call it a letter of, uh, letter of intent. Some school call it a motivation letter. Some call it personal statement. Some call it a lot of things. Statement of purpose. People don't know how to write statement of purpose. It must be top notch. Pay people to review your application. <laughs> Some people think that we are here. We don't have time. Oh, no, Peter, review for me. Review for me. <laughs> hey, sister, I am not here for reviewing papers. Oh, <laughs> hey, so because reviewing papers, you need to take time, and time is money. Even if you tell me to review your document and you don't pay me, that means everything that is free, 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 it is not valuable. You need to pay the price. This is not somebody demanding money. Oh. Stop that stinginess. You want everybody free, 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 free. Because of free, free, you are not able to get valuable results. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. This is this is not like people like money. It is true. If you even profit, mention what about this, these people, doyan people, they have money, pastors. Even when you're going there, you give them money. Why don't you say that mention what about is a billionaire? Why don't you say that this person is a billionaire so that he doesn't need money? It shows maturity and also show that you follow the, 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 the level of intelligence or the level of, uh, you know, you appreciate the value upon that person's life. Don't just go with your bare handed. Please, please, for, uh, help me. Somebody just sent me. Please, I beg you in the name of Jesus. Please, please, Peter, I beg you. Pleading with name, bro. <laughs> When Elijah met the widow and her son, he said that, give me that food to eat before I will bless you. Why is it that the prophet didn't say that you don't have food to eat, so I need to bless you? He said, give me. Hey, you want it free. So you want somebody to spend five hours on your application. You can enter them when you five on Hey, you want you can even show some some of the uh, uh, Mr. O. You know Mr. O. Mr. O is in the United States. Mr. O contacted me because he contacted me to do certain things for for him. Mr. O told me that he want to pay me. Mr. O. It's not because it's not because I'm. He said it, Peter. I want to pay you. How how much will you charge? <laughs> you see, I told him that he has shown maturity. Because we are in the same people, liberating people, how can I take your money? You don't want to pay. You want the free, free, free. Mr. O is in the US. He will spend six hours on your application for you for free. Do you know the number of people who really need our service? If I want to help everybody, then I, will, I won't do anything. Because everybody needs help. Everybody wants you to, to help. My, my message is like 4,000. 4,000 messages. I'm a student. I'm doing a lot of things. Social work. I'm doing a lot of things. Doing a lot of things. I have family. I have my relationships. I have my people. I need to build. I need to learn. I need to do certain things. I need to do my career, spiritual life, mental development. I need to study. Only me. Some people think that when they send you a message, you are there. You are, you are not doing anything. It's not because we, we are... Because one thing i've learned in life is that if you don't take care and you say you are helping people you are helping people a time will come you now you have not helped yourself <laughs> so when you are putting people's interest first make sure that you are full because you can't pour from an empty cup i can't give you information that i'm not fed with knowledge and wisdom so i need to prepare myself so that i can pour hey Anna, please review it for me. Review it for me. Reviewing it doesn't mean that you need to sit down. You you read this one minute. You are going to apply for, for a visa. And these visas, visa officers, they are intelligent. They have worked there for 20 years, 30 years experience. You want somebody to read and tell you some of the key points you need to bring in your letter of explanation. You say, please, well, uh, please review it for me. And you want the person to spend five hours you don't want to pay. <coughs> Go and give to agent. <coughs> Those agents, they are there. Go and give. 
they will take 20,000, 30,000. You go and pay. Ah, just by the way. So, that is it, basically. So, this video is just to empower you, it's just to liberate you, it's just to have you that it is possible. This year, I am expecting full scholarship from people, application. Oh, this year, the, the way Canada visas are releasing, glory be to God, some people are chopping. Hey, January, uh, this September, majority of our followers are traveling. I'm telling you, I'm on for many visas to a two coin. What is January? You already say September, or no, August, when I be you know, use it there. <laughs> people have got it, their visa. <laughs> their visa, a lot of people are traveling this August, and this year. The way people are getting their visa. If you don't get that means you have demon, you have a demonies, things are working against you. <laughs> so you need to learn. Go and watch Choco Melonia video. My brother, he has a lot of videos, a lot of impact. Me now sometimes I go to his page, learn from him. Please, this year the do something oh, before you die. <laughs> do something before you die. You see, until you change your mind, we are not stopping. <laughs> yeah, but boss, uh, this, uh, this, I guess, people are traveling. I'm telling you. <laughs> they have gotten their visa and they are just there. Just keep quiet. You, you will see them in August. Some people are taking over speed. You sit down and just be eating cocoa tea and, you know, dehu, dehu tao and brebo. You don't care anything. You just sit down. Improper life. Will become improper results <laughs> improper fraction you know improper fraction 76 over 6 is improper fraction if your life become improper fraction there's a problem <laughs> so you need to make it a proper fraction 6 over 76 that is proper fraction this year people are making results you too need to bring results my name is peter Baiwa. i know this video has helped you and shaped you share this video for other people to watch today i share some of my testimonies i tell people that i'm not here to brag i'm just a humble guy i have my own flaws i'm not saying i'm jesus christ you can't get 100 percent from me a human being you now you're not 100 percent you can't judge anybody you can't judge me i can't judge you whatever you are doing that you think that it is good continue to do it i want to see your personal development I want us to go far. It is time for us to love ourselves and come to our, together. Don't hate your brother. Be truthful to yourself. Write down your plans and goals. This year, what are you doing? Do you have bank account? Are you saving? Are you doing any significant impact? What are you doing? It is time for you to liberate yourself. Bring significant change upon your life. Start to change. Start to think. It is time. Time is going. Don't waste your time. If year by this time, we started now that let's six months or eight months six months for us to go for another christmas time is going six months is gone the year is going what are you doing are you starting the application your visa what are you reading what are you learning what videos are you watching what friends do you have build yourself read build yourself make yourself relevant it is possible my name is peter Bewa. i know you love me even if you don't love me i love you pray for me the moment people come to the alarm light people start to start against them a time is coming people will rise against me i know a time will come, people will rise against me. A time will come, people will tarnish my reputation. A time will come, people will lie against me. If you hear it, don't just be called it is part. The moment you start to impact, that is the moment you get attraction from enemies. A time is coming. A time will come, people will hate me. A time will come, those people who are saying, God bless you, God bless you, will tell you that this guy. <laughs> so me, I've prepared. And it is a journey. Even Jesus Christ, people were saying that he's not the Messiah. Not me, So this page is an impactful page. This page, I motivate the broken. I inspire the world. Irrespective of your situation, sit down and make significant change. This is my life. This is what I was born to do. You can't be like me. And I don't want to be like you. Be yourself. Be truthful and bring significant change yourself. My love to Choco Melonia, my brother. Whatever you are, I love you. Yesterday, here for no more was commented on my page such a very powerful man i'm amazing i love you leonardo god bless you i love all my sisters i love all my followers my name is peter Bywell. please share this video and let other people join